Hello people, I hope uh, everyone is fine and we are on live as we promised before, as we announced before. Welcome to the European Application Center. This is Borsha from European Application Center and as you all, uh, you can already see the beautiful lady with me. <laughs> this is Ms. Holly Boma from American University of Malta, the Director of Admissions. Hello and hi. Okay, hello. <laughs> Thank you for having me and hi everybody out there. So this is your first time in Bangladesh. Exactly. So you can say the hello to our Bangladeshi okay. people. Hello. Yes, I'm, I'm so happy to be here. I okay. really have a nice a nice welcome. So how was is, how is your trip? How did you start from uh, your in Bangladesh? I, this is my second day. Okay. okay. You so came yesterday you. or the I day before yesterday? yesterday. Yes. And right away off the plane I started with meeting with students mm -hmm. um, because we are really trying to recruit students from Bangladesh mm -hmm. to come to Malta to study in Malta. So every day I'm as a very be, rush. Yes. <laughs> as uh, we can uh, have a very rush time just before, just before a while, lots of students interviews. Exactly. And, okay. So let's talk about. Uh, let me um, interact with my audience once more, one more time. I'm going to share it on our other pages. You can see it uh, over there. You can comment your queries if you have any queries regarding Malta, especially uh, the AUM University application, uh, uh, American University of Malta. If you have any queries, any asking, you can definitely do ask us on the comment section so um, uh, let me ask you the first question so many of us so many of our viewers so many of the students they didn't know about the Malta right. so can you please tell the elaborately about the location about Malta okay. why your students should choose Malta okay so that's a really good question because for example I come from the United States too and yes. most people in the United States doesn't um, know about don't know where Malta yeah. is, right? So there's a lot of countries out there where they say, Oh, where's Malta? Maybe mm -hmm. we've heard about it. Um, so Malta is I call it the hidden gem of Europe, right? Mm -hmm. It is a small country, it's in the Mediterranean, it's the southernmost I think European Union um, country, right? We're yes. in the European Union, we're in the Schengen zone. It's a small country of about 500,000 people on this mm -hmm. island. It's just south of Sicily. Okay. So we're very close to Sicily. Mm -hmm. um, but it's beautiful. It's got um, a long history. It's got beautiful views. Many people from around the world come there um, just to, for on holiday, just for vacation, right? So it's a big tour. Similar weather, similar language, the English is a main language. So that's good. And I have seen so many pictures. Yes. Malta is right. beautiful, beautiful. Uh, the blue water Lots over of there. Blue water. Yeah. So on the weekends, students always go to the beach, right? Yeah. Um, or you can, you know, explore around Malta. But then also you can take um, short flights all around Europe. You know, once you're there, you're mm. in the Schengen zone mm -hmm. and you have access to 26 different countries in Europe. That you can just take a short trip. They have um, flights that cost like 30 euro on some of those economy airlines. Oh, that's you can amazing! Go to Paris, amazing, you know. amazing. So, uh, uh, if a student go to the Malta, they can visit over the 29 countries, 29, 26, 26 other Schengen countries. Zones. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. That's a right. great opportunity. Exactly. So, let's talk about the education. Um, facilities over Malta, especially we are going to talk about American University. It's mm -hmm. a new university, private university, so we want to know about this. Right, yeah, so um, when I'm talking with students, I always let them know that it is a new university. We were just started two years ago, so okay. we're a fresh university, mm -hmm. but we have a lot of great things to offer students. Right now, we are a small university. We're going to be growing to be large, but right now, we have a small student body of about um, you know, in spring semester, there's still going to be even less than 150 students. Mm -hmm. So what that means for you is that you have small classes. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of interaction with your faculty and staff. More um, opportunities to learn. Right, exactly. I think it, it's like a family. That's mm -hmm. what I'm telling students. If you want to come to a university that's like mm -hmm. a family, where you'll meet me when you're there, I interact with the students every single day. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to go someplace that feels like a family and feels very safe, that's really that's important. Where we are. Yeah, you're not going to go to some big university mm -hmm. where you're going to get lost, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and not know where you are as an international student. Everybody is an international student at our university because we're all all the students are international. We bring them from all over the world, from Vietnam, from China, from Brazil. Oh, great! Um, 
from every you know single so students get a multinational culture that, they get to yes, learn right, yeah that's amazing exactly. so, so uh, you have a restaurant facilities over there right yes you mean our campus yes, yes. On campus. or for um, for living right ha the housing yes, yes. yes. So we house our students in apartments that are close by the university. Mm -hmm. So usually they're within walking distance or a short bus ride away. But okay. you're very close to the university. You have an apartment that you share with other students. Mm -hmm. um, students generally share a room together and you have you know students in different rooms. But then you all have a, a kitchen <coughs> that you share together. <coughs> students cook their own food so you can save money. You know, you don't have to eat out every day. You can cook your own food. There's a shared bathroom. So students like that. They have more of a, you know, comfortable. Yeah, like yeah. an apartment style okay. of living. So now talk about um, about the courses you're offering right now. Yes, exactly. So um, even as a new university, I do believe we have a lot of great course offerings. We have bachelor programs that are based on the American style of education because oh. that's why we are the American University of Malta. Mm -hmm. Our curriculum, our class style, our teaching, mm -hmm. it's all based on the American style, so okay. similar to what you would be receiving in the United States in terms of education. Mm -hmm. I come from the United States. I was working at many universities in the United States. Mm -hmm. The curriculum is exactly like you would be receiving there. So we have bachelor degree programs and mm -hmm. in the U.S. they are always four-year bachelor degree programs. Um, so we have business administration, we have business and finance, accounting. A lot of students like you know to learn about accounting, be accountants. But engineering, we've also opened up many engineering programs, all of the areas of engineering. Mm -hmm. Plus we have graphic design mm -hmm. and we have a unique degree called game development. This is okay. specifically for Malta, okay? okay? Because Malta has a huge internet gaming industry. There are over 200 internet game companies mm -hmm. on the island of Malta. It's a big Great. business for Malta and it's a big employer. You know, it employs mm -hmm. lots of people on the island. So game development is a combination of computer science and game design. Okay. Specifically for working in this field of mm -hmm. internet games. Um, so That's a great like opportunity, that. I guess. Yeah. Uh, it's a very specific subject. So that's all. That's all the right, courses. We, we have, that's our undergraduate. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, master's degree programs. Um, right now, master's of business administration, mm -hmm. um, which is a great program if you want to open up your own <coughs> business one day or if you want to expand Entrepreneurs. Yeah, entrepreneur, it's a great yes. program. But every year we are expanding our course offerings and oh, our great. programs. Okay? okay, so as we grow, we're going to get more degree programs. Mm -hmm. So just keep checking back on the website, and you'll see we will be growing in terms. So of I guess that. it's a great opportunity for the Bangladeshi people because Bangladeshi students because they get the they will get the American degree or American style education in Europe. That's exactly, amazing. Right. They didn't. They uh, even they don't have to learn the other language as well. Right. I think there is just so many benefits. So many benefits. Of studying yeah. at our university and getting the different perspectives because what I tell students is you know. As you get your career, go into your career, everything is so international now. Definitely. That you have to have all of these perspectives to succeed in your future job. Definitely. So as uh, we can see on the banner, we have a um, program just a while. It's a spot admission. Yes. So can you please tell us what is the requirements to have the admission or how did you deal with the students of, uh, how did you get them for the spot admission? Okay. So we have been working closely with our consultant here in Bangladesh called Prominent Consultant who is sponsoring this session today, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, I made a special trip to Bangladesh to meet with the students here for the spot admission. And how it works is that students work with the consultant through the admissions process, right? Mm -hmm. And always as part of the admissions process, we have an interview with the students. Generally, it's me okay. that has the interview. Um, so today we did it live here on site. Normally I do it by Skype um, mm -hmm. or WhatsApp, okay. but today it's been live. And so today's part has just been the admissions interview. I want to get to know your academic background. Mm -hmm. I want to speak with you in English and you know hear how your spoken English is. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I want to get to know the candidates better as people, mm -hmm. you know, like if they have any work experience, you know, if they've studied before, you know, what they've studied, why they want to study in Malta and exactly. why they want to study abroad. So that's all part of the on-spot admissions. And then once, um, you know, I review your academic credentials from the applicant that, um, application that um, prominent consultant has 
assisted us with, then the interview put together, then we're able to offer admission. Okay, so what are the eligibilities that a student should have to get admitted on this university? Okay, so for the bachelor degree program, you need to have the equivalent of your high school degree, mm -hmm. okay? So we're looking at also grade point average of making sure that you had like a um, B would be ideal of the grade okay. point average, or 3.0, mm -hmm. right? 3.0, yeah. Um, we're looking at those kind of um, minimum eligibility requirements with the high school diploma with a 3.0 B kind of average. And then we're also looking at um, the English scores, right? Mm -hmm. You do not need to have IELTS to okay. apply, okay? okay. Um, but we do need to check that your your English is of the level to study at the mm -hmm. university. Now we do have an English for academic purposes program if you don't quite have that level of IELTS <laughs> that's needed because yeah. the bachelor degree program requires a 6.0 IELTS, mm -hmm. right? Um, if you want to do engineering, it's 6.5 IELTS, and if you want to do our MBA, it's 6.5 too. So if you don't have the score, you don't have the level, you can still apply and do our English for Academic Purposes program, which is before the degree program, and prepares you. You still need to achieve... It's called ESL. Um, at it's our e university, equivalent e to EAP. Yeah, yeah exactly. Equivalent to ESL. Yeah. And I, I heard that it's completely free, whereas uh, ESL or that program are much uh, cost-effective. Now, that's true. Now, Costly, what we do yeah. is we have students, you know, you generally, our, our scholarship... Um, program for EAP is where students they pay for the EAP program that semester that they're doing it but then their final semester of their mm -hmm. studies is tuition free so it's hmm. like you get the EAP program for free but you get the credit at the end you get the tuition oh, okay. credit at the end yeah okay that's a pretty good thing okay so now let's talk about the next intake you have okay um, so we just wrapped up recruitment kind of for the spring, right? Mm -hmm. Now we do generally have EAP start dates that start pretty much every month, right? Okay. Um, so we'll have one in February and March. That's if students are doing the English for academic purposes. But if you have an IELTS score of six mm -hmm. um, or 6.5 for the masters and the engineering, then you are able to go right into our degree program, right? And the next start date for the degree studies is May 27th. So you could come okay. for our summer term. Mm -hmm. um, but if you are, you know, if you have lower, little lower level of English um, or don't have the IELTS score, then you can start with our English for academic purposes pretty much on a rolling basis every month. Okay. Um, but you will work with your consultant, mm -hmm. um, with prominent consultant, about what start date is best for you, right? And because the process is long, you've got to get admitted and then you need to apply for the visa to come to Malta. So it could take a little time before we welcome you there in Malta, mm -hmm. but your consultant knows the best route to get there, exactly. okay, and to exactly. do everything every step of the way. That's exactly. why we work with the consultants. Okay, let's take some questions from live. Uh, there's I love there, that. Yeah, there was a question, what are the cost or if you get the idea of the cost? Okay, so um, right now, uh, because we're a new university, we have very generous scholarship opportunities. Okay. So normally our tuition fee for the undergraduate program is 15,500 euro per year. Hmm. But because we are just growing as a university, we are able to offer 50% tuition scholarships, mm -hmm. which if people meet the admissions requirements, they are eligible for this scholarship. And exactly. generally students get the 50% tuition scholarship. Now mm -hmm. that scholarship is renewable each semester as long okay. as they maintain a B average. So you got to still three. keep good, yep, the mm -hmm. 3.0. So you've got to still keep good grades as you go along, but you get a very generous scholarship. So. Um, after the 50% tuition scholarship, the mm -hmm. tuition comes out to be about 7,750 euro per year, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, our housing is very affordable. The residents, the mm -hmm. apartments, we because students share rooms, it keeps it between either 750 euro a semester mm -hmm. or 1,200, um, 1,250 a semester. That's for a three-person room. Um, so it's very affordable housing. Um, food is very affordable in Malta. Transportation is good. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, all together you, you get a very affordable experience there and okay. a very solid education. 
Okay. So now uh, tell us about the procedure, the step that a student should take. Okay. So the first step is to work with the local consultant with prominent consultants, okay? Hmm. Because they know the process for the students coming from Bangladesh, um, how to apply. They'll, they'll give you some more information about, um, you know, all of our students need to have an online application form, submit scanned versions of the documents, and then Lots have other stuff. an initial interview with the consultant, mm -hmm. and then also an interview with me. I might be back, back in February. I'll be doing some more on-spot admission, so it might be where great, you come and great. meet me in person. Um, but there's a few different steps within the admissions process. <laughs> then the students um, work with the consultant to go through the next steps on getting the visa. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so so I, I think important to just work with our consultants because we consider them to be our admission specialists. In and the, the proper guidelines. Yes. They will get the proper guidelines. Yeah. yeah. So that's all. Thank you so much for all the information. I okay. guess so many people out there, they got a lot of information because a lot of people doesn't know about Malta exactly, right. about the universities, as you can uh, uh, say yes. before, it's a new university. Yes. So, so many people doesn't know about the opportunities. Right. Yeah. I guess it, it will be very helpful for the people. So, thank you so much. Okay. If I missed anything or any last word you want to share okay. with our no, friends. but I look forward to meeting everybody out there in on-spot admissions or on the telephone and welcome you to Malta and, and um, feel free to reach out to prominent consultants with any questions you have. Okay. okay. Thank All you right. so much Thank and you. have a nice day. All right. you too. All right. Thank you people for watching. I hope uh, you got a lot of information about Malta and American University of Malta. So if you have any further queries, do ask us from uh, in our inbox or do call us directly. Thank you so much. All right.